For those interested in live looping, this video is for you. Recently, I had the honor and opportunity to have Whitney Bjerken, a very talented singer-songwriter. She came here to the home studio and we performed the song Hotel California. You know, when we were done recording the video, I decided to give her a rundown on all the gear I use when I live look. Basically, I have a Boss RC505. The Boss RC505 is a very powerful loop station. It's meant to be used with your hands as opposed to other loop stations that you put on the floor and you control with your feet. To start looping, I'll activate the click so I can hear the tempo. And before beat number one, I'll start recording. I'll hit the record button. I'm gonna start recording. So I'm gonna click it before, like this. Okay, so you gotta be fast. You can also configure it to be used with a pedal like the Boss FX6. So you can start looping by using your foot. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, I don't need my hands, I can use my foot. Mm -hmm. So it basically controls one of the tracks on the loop station. My two favorite features on this loop station is number one, the faders. Being able to fade each track independently. You recorded the guitar on one track and it's too loud, you can bring it down. The other feature I like would be the effects. There's some really cool effects and my favorite one is the sweep filter. To hold my loop station in place, I use a, a tray that I got, I think, in Amazon. That one is attached to my microphone stand. I have another percussion tray that is to my left that holds my percussion, my mixer, and my recording device, which is the Zoom H6. Lots of gear, but everything is linked on the description, don't worry. I have my synth guitar, Godin Multiac Grand Concert SA, which connects to a synthesizer, the Roland GR20 by mm -hmm. my feet, so I can trigger any instrument I want on the spot like the saxophone, organ, piano, xylophone, drums. <laughs> The Roland GR20 is an old synthesizer. You can also try the GR55, which is a newer version. I hear from other people that they love it. Phoenix Pro sent me these microphones a while ago. For my voice, I usually use an Audix OM5 microphone, but for this particular performance with Whitney, we wanted both to be able to loop. So I set up a wireless Phoenix Pro PTU-2U. These ones are connected to a vocal performer VE20 by Boss. This pedal I use for vocal effects, such as reverb, double voice, third harmony. That one goes to a switch that allows me to open the microphone to loop it or to send it directly to the mixer. It's an AV switch. Reliable, most importantly, noise free. And that's why you saw me clicking. Every yeah. time it goes yellow, that means you can record your voice. Mm -hmm. When it goes blue, it goes to the mixer. Yeah. Two pedals I didn't mention to Whitney that are actually essential for my sound. The Hall of Fame by TC Electronic. It's a reverb for my guitar. And also a tone enhancer, the Body Res, also by TC Electronic. These two pedals are basically my tone. As a PA, I use a very ancient Bose L1 Model 2. I believe they have newer versions, so I'm gonna link those. For a monitor, I use the Bose S1 Pro, they also have a new version, and I will share a video by my friend Sean Daniel, who just did a review on this. And so that's my setup. It's not as complicated, but it takes forever to set up, as yeah. you saw. Make sure to watch our performance with Whitney on her channel. I think you're gonna enjoy it. Make sure also to get yourself a loop station and the basic gear that you need to get looping. See you guys on the next video.